In this video, we'll be taking a look at a question that came up in the exam on the 6th of August, specifically this one, uh, task four, working within a health and safety management system. And the question is, to satisfy the expectations of the inspector, you've developed a formal safety management system in line with ISO 45001. Based on the scenario only, what are the likely benefits to the organisation of having this formal management system? So with this, what I want to point out is that on some of the questions, it phrases things a little bit differently. So for example, on this first question, justifying health and safety improvements, it says you should support your answer where applicable, using relevant information from the scenario. I've noticed that a few times is that they'll use different instructions. So that's different to this one. This one that it's saying based on the scenario only. So I think my interpretation of that is it's making it more strict about linking your answer to the scenario. When it comes to benefits of uh, a formal health and safety management system, it's quite easy to research that because there, there are loads of companies out there that offer accreditation or consultation to support companies to become accredited to a formal health and safety management system. Because there's money to be made, by companies selling accreditation, anything like that, you'll always find that you don't have to do too much digging to find some benefits because that's part of the sales process, isn't it? There's a, there's a, there's a saying within sales, uh, don't sell the features of the service or product that you're offering, sell the benefits. So all you literally have to do is put ISO 45001 accreditation and you'll see all these companies that are plaids. So they've got something to sell. So it won't be too long. Their landing pages ought to start listing out the benefits. There you go. Why should I apply for ISO 45001? And here's another example. But here's the thing, these benefits aren't based on the scenario, so they won't gain any marks. What we have to do is make sure that in our answer, we're linking everything and basing it on the information in the scenario. To do that, what I recommend is review the scenario and then drawing out from the scenario information that you think a health and safety management system would assist with, would help with. So I'll give you an example. Let's get the scenario up. So this is the one where it's a, it was a forklift truck incident in a, a warehouse. Let's read, you've, and what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start reading through until I find something that I think, right, okay, that's, that's a bit of information there that I think I can link to a benefit of a health and safety management system. The organization that owns the store has 100 stores nationally and 10 in your area, there is something there. The fact uh, that they've got so many stores, there are obviously a big chain. Having a health and safety management system means that an organization like that will be able to much more easily implement a consistent approach to health and safety across all of their sites, put sort of like an umbrella in terms of processes and procedures and systems uh, and have a consistent sort of infrastructure that covers all of their all of their hundred sites. To formalize this process that I'm talking about, what I would recommend is having two columns at this point. Column on the left is the information that you drag out from the scenario. Column on the right would be the benefit. Go through the scenario and wherever you see 
some information in the scenario that you think, okay, this I could link to a benefit of a health and safety management system. Put the information from the scenario in the uh, left-hand box and then just a bit of rough information about the benefit of a health and safety management system in the right-hand box. So I'll show you what that looks like or what it might look like. So here, I always like to put the task into the um, to what I'm writing on so I don't have to keep flitting back backwards and forwards. So information from this scenario is on the um, left-hand side, the benefit of a health and safety management system on the right-hand side. So the organisation that owns the store has 100 stores nationally and 10 in your area. I've just dragged that from the uh, from the scenario and all these are directly from the scenario so I know I can't go wrong I can't start veering off down another path that's not based, based on the scenario because the whole structure of my answer originates from the scenario that's sort of like my starting point so that keeps me on the straight and narrow, so to speak. And then what I've put here is health and safety can be implemented consistently across all sites. That's obviously not a final answer at this point. This is the rough cut stage, just the first initial draft. And then I'll leave you to read through, just pause the video and read through the others that are there. It's all, it's all very rough and ready which is fine. Um, what I wouldn't do is attempt to write a perfect answer on the first attempt. Take it in stages. So the first stage is the rough cut stage where you've got it to basically the stage you can see on the screen here. And then you can come back to it on the second stage and mold it and refine it and convert it into a answer that is going to score points because the danger is that you know if you you if you started with benefits of the health and safety management if you sit there and think well what are the benefits of a health and safety management system and then you go on to maybe these sites that I've shown you where they list out the benefits or you look at your course materials even and it'll say in there it'll give you loads of benefits of health and safety management systems but on their own they're not based on the scenario because you could apply the information in your course materials and you can apply the information that maybe you do in your own research to any organization or any scenario so that's a good question to ask yourself if your answer if you as a double check if you read through your answer and you think to yourself, hold a minute, that's quite generic. That could apply to any situation. It could apply to any organisation. Uh, and that's what you'll probably find because the, the course materials and especially websites that are from companies that are selling services, they want to reach as, as many people as they possibly can. So they're not going to tie it down to a, a specific scenario. So that, I think, would be the danger of starting with the benefits is to end up not basing it on the scenario. Start with the scenario. So read through the scenario and pick out things, enter it into the left-hand column, and then you can go on to link these things to benefits of the health and safety management system or benefits of a health and safety management system afterwards. That way, every single answer that you give will be based on the scenario. And what I've uh, done here. I've got 15. I'm not going to use all 15 to be honest with you. This question is worth 10 points. So what I need is I only need 10 of these 15. What I'll do in part two is I'll go through how I would convert this very rough kind of table, the structure, into a point scoring exam answer. And what I would do, this is my preference, when, when I'm do, if I was to do the exam, I would go through every question and get it to this stage. 
get every question to the rough cut stage. Because looking at that now, those 15 bits of information from the scenario linked to benefits of the health and safety management system, in an exam situation, I'd be feeling quite positive about that because I know that I've done most of the hard work and psychologically, I know that all I have to do now is just polish that up uh, and convert it into uh, an exam answer that's actually going to score points. And I'd be quite posi- I'd be feeling quite positive about things if I got every question in the exam paper to that stage, and it would help get you through um, get you through the entire paper in a very sort of positive way with minimum sort of friction. There is a but though, and I say this on practically every video, being able to go through the scenario and read it and and be able to identify things where you can link it to a benefit of a health and safety management system, it's not as easy as it as it might sound. My message to you here is you have to study before the exam day. Don't think that you're going to be able to pull information out of the scenario without having embedded that foundational level of knowledge. It all needs to be pre-studied before you sit down on exam day. Otherwise, you could it'll take you the best part of uh, an entire morning to get through a single question unless you have that knowledge already locked away. And then what you're doing on exam day is you're demonstrating how you're going to apply that knowledge and that you understand the raw material. So I hope that helps. As I said, in part two, I'll go through how I would convert the table, the two column table into a proper exam answer. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.